Rakuten Trade. It's me, Park Leng, uh, from Rakuten, Rakuten Trade uh, Research Team. If you like our webinars, uh, please hit the like button and also join our Raku Rangers, uh, which is made for, uh, for Rakuten Trade's uh, clients and also our Research Hive uh, Telegram group to get more insights uh, from the, on the stock market, stock market from the research team. We are also in uh, investing note and we are glad to have a QL resources with us uh, this afternoon. Welcome, Freddy. Thank you. Thank you for your invitation. Haven't really, uh, a good afternoon, everyone. So haven't really talked to retailers for, for many years. Uh, remember participating in one of those uh, CIMB function when we were really, really small cap or when during Parklink's OSK day when we were considered as hidden gems. It yeah. was two, two decades ago. <laughs> okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you have uh, questions, uh, please uh, type into the comment section and uh, we will address them to Freddy. We will take uh, the questions live and will not be answer will not be answering in the comment section. Okay, uh, without further ado, okay, let's uh, begin. Over to you, Freddy. Okay, thank you. So uh, many of you may not know what QL stands for. Actually, it's an abbreviation of uh, Mandarin word "friendly," meaning uh, a win-win or with value for all. Next. Next. So uh, QL, just a bit of history, was founded in 1987 by my boss. So it's already 35 years. Uh, we were listed in the year 2000. I joined QL in 1996. So this is my 26 years. So today QL has more than 10,000 employees, uh, sales of near five over billion and market cap of more than 12 billion. In the year 2000, I think when we were listed, I think the market cap was about 150 million around there. Yeah. Next. Next. So just to introduce my boss, Dr. Chia. Dr. Chia is a founder of QL. So uh, a bit of his uh, Award and accolade. Uh, he was selected by the H as one of the top 20 CEO in Malaysia. They most admired. He was an Ansian Master Entrepreneur in year 2006, and uh, QL QL was selected as Company of the Year in 2011, and the latest one in 2019. He was recognized as Outstanding CEO and Value Creator uh, uh, by the H Billion Ringgit Club. So that's a bit of our award and accolade. Next. So today, QL has four business pillars, all mainly in food base. Uh, uh, the first one is marine product manufacturing, so it's mainly in fishery. Second one is uh, integral livestock, which is mainly in poultry related activities. Third one is the palm oil and clean energy. And the latest one is the family mark convenience stores. I'll go through each of these uh, 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 afterwards. Next. So this chart is something that I'm very proud of because this, since we were founded in 1987, we have 35 years of growth. Uh, uh, since inception, uh, we have gone through many, many crises. Uh, of course, I think the worst one probably to my experience is COVID-19, where we suffer our first dip in earnings. Uh, uh, in FY2022. Ukraine war don't really impact us as, uh, as our uh, with our supply chains not impacted by, not much impacted by the Ukraine war. Uh, so as you can see, our earnings is proven to be resilient in the face of challenging economic conditions. Even you see Asian financial crisis, oil price hike, global downturn, commodity price hike, Lately, also the commodity price side as well. So, uh, uh, it's, therefore, it's considered very, very resilient. Next. We recently announced our result on 29th of August. Uh, so, you can see our revenue was up 
for 24%, that is from 1.2 billion. This is for first quarter ended 30 June 2022. From 1.2 billion to 1.5 billion, uh, profit before tax up 78%, that is from 60 million to 108 million. PPD margin also improved from 5% to 7.1%. Profit after tax improved 95%, that is from 42 million to 82 million. You can read a bit more detail. It, is in the quarterly re report. Next, 